Thank you. It's good to be here. It is. Been on the road for the last three months, so bear with me while I plaster on a fake smile and plow through this stuff one more time. <laughs> I'm teasing, it's magic every show. <laughs> been on what I call my flying saucer tour. Which means like flying saucers, I too have been appearing in small southern towns in front of handfuls of hillbillies lately. <laughs> I've been doubting my own existence. Tell you, I've noticed a certain anti-intellectualism in our country, starting around 1980, coincidentally enough, but, uh... <laughs> Tell you, last week I was in Nashville, Tennessee, right? And after the show, I went to a Waffle House. Okay, I'm not proud of it, but I was hungry. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and I'm eating, and I'm reading a book. I'm alone, I don't know anybody. I'm eating, and I'm reading a book. Fine. Waitress comes over to me. <laughs> what you reading for? <laughs> I said, wow, I've never been asked that. <laughs> Not what am I reading, but what am I reading for? Well, <laughs> by golly, you stumped me. <laughs> I guess I read for a lot of reasons, but one of the main ones is so I don't end up being a waffle waitress, okay? <laughs> yeah, that'd have to be very high on the list when perusing the literature of the world. Then this trucker in the next booth gets up, stands over me and goes, well, looks like we got ourselves a reader. <laughs> What's going on here? It's like I walked into a Klan rally in a Boy George costume or something, you know? This is a book. Am I stepping out of some intellectual closet here? Okay, I said it, I read. Ah, you know, I feel better. <laughs> I'm telling you, Tennessee, man. Many parts of our troubled world, people are yelling revolution, revolution. In Tennessee, they're yelling evolution. <laughs> <laughs> we want our thumbs. I'm telling you, man, there are some serious pockets of humanity out there, man, coexisting with us. Go to some of these truck stops in the middle of nowhere sometime. Order coffee, guy behind the counter, you want the 32 ounce or the large? <laughs> <laughs> How big is that large? You gonna want to pull your car around back. I'm gonna start the pump. Gee, that sounds like a lot of coffee. Uh, don't know if I want to be awake that long in Tennessee. <laughs> I'm telling you. I saw a sign by the road in Tennessee that said, Dirt for sale. I swear to God, dirt for sale. A little entrepreneur happening here. <laughs> well, how'd you like to get inside that guy's mind and look around for a couple hours, huh? Big world for this gentleman. Opportunity at every glance. Oh, my God. Honey! <laughs> Honey, quit serving waffles, baby. We're gonna be rich. I'm gonna sell dirt, baby. Look, it's everywhere. You need it for a planet. Honey! <laughs> dirt for sale. <laughs> the place was called Land Land. <laughs> I mean, they're nice people, you know? They're just, how would you describe them? Rural? <laughs> Backwoods? Country? They're real nice. After the show, one of them came up to me real excited. Hey, man, you're great. You're cracking me up. I was about to spit. <laughs> Sorry. No, I loved it. I'd like you to meet my wife and sister. And there was one girl standing there. <laughs> Not a thumb between them. What are the odds? Girl had a little nubbin growing in, but girls evolve quicker than guys. 
<laughs> Being on the road, man, staying in hotels, very tiring, playing with those maids, you know? Does do not disturb me knock immediately in maid language? What's the problem here? Do not disturb. They're there in five minutes. Housekeeping. Do you need fresh towels? Yeah, I'm gonna need to wipe up your blood. <laughs> Do not disturb. It's very clear. Then again, I'm a reader. So, you know, you, know, you never know. <laughs> Tell you, I was in Oklahoma. Woo! The only state Tennessee can make fun of. Oh! <laughs> Here's a quick impression of Oklahoma, those of y'all who've never been. <laughs> that was inside the club I was working. <laughs> Oklahoma is the state Pat Robertson won in his presidential bid, okay? <laughs> Oklahomans looked at all the candidates and went, no, that right-wing Armageddon preaching talk show host, that's our man. <laughs> yeah, right there, that's the one who best represents us. <laughs> I guess for Oklahomans, Armageddon's okay. Must be comforting to know if the world does end, your state will remain virtually unchanged. <laughs> it's just good to be here in New York, yeah. I love being in New York. I love running the bum gauntlet down every street. <laughs> God, I hate those guys, man. <laughs> Very idea they want me to just give them the hard-earned money my folks send to me every week. <laughs> Leech. Get a job. My dad works eight hours a day for this quarter. I mean, the nerve. At least give me a story. You know, they, they stopped giving stories. Remember when they used to give you a rap? Well, what about that? Give me a good one. Hey, man, look. Hey, hey, man. I'm like a quarter short for a ticket to Atlantic City and I'm fighting Mike Tyson. <laughs> uh, oh, what? <laughs> Go get him. I love it. Every time Tyson fights, there's always some joker who goes, hey, for that much money, I'd fight him. <laughs> yeah, you'd have a lot of fun spinning it in a wheelchair, too, buddy. <laughs> get some pot-bellied redneck in the ring with Tyson. Just, are you feeling rich, man? <laughs> Tell me when you feel rich. He goes, oh! oh. After the fight, he's just, uh, 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 wow, who's that rich dude? Uh, it's a great audience. Thank you.